Hey YouTubers and welcome back to my YouTube channel Master That English where we understand, analyze and interpret the important texts and concepts that may be part of your English curriculum. Our topic for today is a poem written by the 18th century poet Alexander Pope. So get your pens and notepads ready because here we go. Alexander Pope was an influential writer of the 18th century who claimed fame and recognition through his hard work and his unique creative style of writing. His popularity made many contemporary writers of his age jealous of him. As a result, he was subjected to ridicule through poems and pamphlets. In these works, some writers mocked Pope for his insignificant physical appearance, like the French writer Voltaire ridiculed him by describing him as <laughs> protuberant before and behind, while others made fun of his writing style. But Alexander Pope was not one to take insults lightly. How dare you! This particular poem, an epistle to Dr. Arbuthnot, is one such retaliation. In the section we are discussing, Pope's contemporary Joseph Edison has been targeted because he had criticized Pope's translation of Homer's epic, Eliad. While introducing the reader to Joseph Edison, Pope employs the Horatian style of gentle satire, where he begins by first highlighting the strength of his rival Joseph Edison by describing him as an individual blessed with strong communication skills that is evident in his ability to write and speak effectively. This skill has blessed him with fame, fortune and an aristocratic way of life. After the subtle appreciative tone, Alexander Pope addresses the flaws of Edison through the incorporation of varied literary devices. He has used a simile while comparing him to a Turk who is known for his disloyalty as he can even kill his own blood relatives for power and authority. He also highlights the skills employed by Edison to harm and attack his competitors like Alexander Pope. The negative traits highlighted include hypocrisy, where Edison instigates other contemporaries to attack his rivals while he remains passive in the background. Pope also draws attention to Edison's negative emotions like jealousy, evident in his body language. These include the act of sneering and scorning. He has also been described as a coward enemy who lacks the courage to express his opinion openly. This trait is highlighted by the use of the oxymoron timorous foe. Such traits draw attention to Edison's insecurities at the psychological level. This insecurity does not permit him to distinguish between a friend and a foe, thereby making him prone to social politics around him. Pope successfully highlights his rigid nature by comparing him to Cato from William Shakespeare's play Julius Caesar. In the play, Cato was a symbol of arrogance and stubbornness, who was unwilling to surrender to Julius Caesar as a prisoner, but rather preferred to commit suicide, thus reflecting his megalomania tendency. Who will go with me? I will proclaim my name. I am son of Marcus Cato. Ho! Oh. 
In conclusion, Alexander Pope addresses the reader to awaken themselves and just as wise men like Dr. Arvudnot have been able to identify with the flaws of Edison and feel sorry for his ignorance while he hopes for wisdom to dawn on him. That concludes the lecture on Lines on Edison from an Epistle to Dr. Arvudnot. I hope you enjoyed the lecture. For more information, visit the link provided in the description box. Don't forget to like and share the video, for sharing is caring. This is me, Karishma. Until we meet next time, take care.